The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Want to know if these people are jerks? Uh, is this uh, a jerk move or is this fair? And uh, their uh, names are Doug and Deidre. They had a destination wedding in Jamaica, right? So there was a couple who were invited who RSVP'd. And they didn't show up to Jamaica. Don't know the reason. We're a no-show, right? So Doug and Deidre charged them $240, $120 each for not showing. Ooh, Sent them an invoice for each seat at the reception. They left empty. So is that a jerk move or is that, I guess, fair? You know, I had these situations, at least a they didn't charge them for like a plane ticket or anything. Right. So at least they it didn't sound like they footed the bill for anyone to fly there. Um, that seems like a little stiff. I, I just kind of feel like if you're inviting people to the wedding, then you're, you're footing the bill for it, regardless if they show up or not. I mean, especially if it's a destination wedding, it's probably going to cost you a little bit more, a little bit more of a risk, but I think that's the chance that you take. So Megan had commented on our Facebook post that in the article, the, apparently they were asked four separate times by Doug and Deidre, and they said they were coming each time, the guests. So maybe the frustration in the invoice was sent to prove a point, you know? Like yeah. like they had four multiple opportunities to say, okay. you know what, not going to be able to make it, sorry. Um, and basically all the way up until the day they were married, they found out, oh, okay, um, so-and-so aren't here. Okay, so maybe that does. I mean, with that backstory, maybe it is justified. Does it change? Especially if yeah. it was a sit. Yeah, if it was a situation where they could adjust, like how many meals they were preparing, like right up until like day before or whatever. And if they were repeatedly asked, and then they kept saying yes, I don't know. But then again, we don't know why they ended up. Was it an emergency? Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of people online are already saying, "Hey, that was tacky." There, uh, there are reason things happen. You know, this is just the chance you take when inviting someone to an event. And, um, you know, regardless of whether or not they RSVP that they were coming, it's just part of getting married. It's, it's the risk that you take. Yeah, that's part of the cost that you just kind of absorb. Ashley said, I mean, it's $240. I would say if the bride and groom had to pay for the room and stuff, then charging them would be fair, but not for a seat at the reception. Now, Lakeisha says, you know what? That's fair. They paid for them to be there, especially if they RSVP'd. Um, now, I don't know if they bought plane tickets or not, but they definitely reserved, you know, probably the room block for them uh, yeah. there in Jamaica. And... You, you know, their reception meal and all that stuff were, were going to be taken care of as well. I mean, we've seen these stories about people who, and they are not even destination weddings, but yeah. people who will charge you if you don't come to your wedding. See, that I think that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. And, and I'll tell you, there's not a lot of, it's a big ask. If you're going to have a destination wedding and you want everybody mm-hmm. to buy the plane tickets and book the rooms, I mean, that is a huge expense. And I know so many people that I know that have had destination weddings, they have the very small, intimate destination wedding. They have just family there. And then they come back and they have a big reception for all their family and friends. Because, again, that's a lot of money to ask people to spend to celebrate you. Now, do we know that if uh, how big this was? Because they could have Not sure. ver- very well done that. They could have just – because if you're doing a destination wedding, like you said, it's like you you invite the people that you – uh, no, and you you want to be there, and, yeah. and you think can can make it, you know. Yes, I don't know. Well, uh, we know they're probably not family, right? So <laughs> I think they would have mentioned that. I don't know. Yeah, it just uh, I feel like that's kind of I would think that's kind of the cost that you absorb when you have this kind of wedding. Yeah, you, you know, you're throwing a party. Basically, you're throwing yeah. an event. You know, there are going to be those no shows. And that's why- I would never dream of sending anyone a bill mm-hmm. for not coming to my party. Yeah. 
You know, it just sounds, when you put it like that, it's just kind of weird. So, yeah, I think most people are saying, yeah, they're kind of jerks for, uh, you know, sending in the invoice. Um, Yeah, I think they did say yes to the RSVP. A lot of people are asking. And and that that's one of the reasons why, you know, hey, you said yes, you were coming, and then you didn't come. So here's the bill for yeah. not coming. So I can understand the frustration. But again, I think that this is one of those... You know, you just got to swallow it, and it's it's one of the uh, parts of throwing a wedding. There are going to be people who come, and there are going to be people who, who don't. I know. I know. This one can toe the line just because of the backstory of, if you read further, they repeatedly said, yes, we're coming, yes, we're coming, yes, we're coming. And then, and then, and I, I and we're going to move on, but uh, does the couple who get charged the $240 do they take back the gift that they give them? <laughs> like, like, listen, if we're going to pay you $240, you can buy your own gift, you know? Well, that's what I was thinking. I'm, I'm, again, I wouldn't expect gifts if you're asking people to fly to a destination right. and spend a ton of money to be there with you. I feel like that's gift enough. And so anyways, we'll, we posted it up at 997DJX. You want to uh, take a look at it and leave a comment there on 997DJX.